The love of God, the faith of Jesus, and the power of the Holy Spirit be with you. Welcome to worship with the First Presbyterian Church of Beacon, New York, where together we are bridging worlds, encountering God, and healing lives. Whoever you are, wherever you are, and whatever your background, we are glad you have joined us and hope you find just what your soul needs today. If you have a candle with you, we invite you to light it now as a reminder of the light of Jesus in all times and places. We continue with our prayer of confession. Holy and merciful God, in your presence we confess our sinfulness, our shortcomings, and our offenses against you. You alone know how often we have sinned in wandering from your ways, in wasting your gifts, in forgetting your love. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we are ashamed and sorry for all we have done to displease you. Forgive our sins and help us to live in your light and walk in your ways for the sake of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. If you have water in a container, we invite you to pour the water as a reminder of the grace and power of baptism. Hear the good news. Who is in a position to condemn? Only Christ. And Christ died for us. Christ rose for us. Christ reigns in power for us. Christ prays for us. Anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The old life has gone. A new life has begun. Know that you are forgiven and be at peace. Amen.
Good morning, everybody. I'm so happy to be talking with you this morning. Last week, I wasn't able to be in worship with you all because I was in another state. If you have a map nearby, see if you can find the state of Iowa. I'll show you on my map. Here's New York, where we are. And Iowa is all the way out here, kind of far away. Why was I all the way out in Iowa? Well, I was with some people in my family, like my mom and my dad and my brother and lots of cousins. We were gathered together because my grandma died a little while ago. And we were gathering together to remember her life and talk about what a wonderful person she was. Now, there might be some of you listening today who have also had a grandma or a grandpa or someone else close to you who died. And you know what? You might have some big feelings about that. And that is okay. Maybe sometimes you cry or just feel sad. But maybe sometimes you also laugh or smile when you think about all the fun you had with that person. My grandma was pretty awesome. In fact, my kids called her super grandma because she's their great grandma. And another word for great is super. And one super thing about my grandma was how much she loved Jesus. And she knew how much Jesus loved her. And she always told me and everyone she knew how much Jesus loves us. And when I was with my family last week, we gathered together in a little church in the middle of cornfields. And do you know what we did? We sang my grandma's favorite songs and we heard some of her favorite Bible verses. We were reminded how much Jesus loves her and all of us. Do you have a favorite song from church? Or do you have a favorite verse from the Bible? It's okay if you don't, but I love to remember verses from the Bible because there are so many verses that remind me of how much Jesus loves me. There are verses that remind me that God is always with me, even when bad or sad things happen. I want to share with you one of my grandma's favorite verses that is also one of my favorites. And I think that you might know this verse too. See if you can remember with me. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor the nor thing to come, nor power, nor height, nor death nor anything else in all creation. Nor anything else. Nor anything else. Nor anything else. Nor anything else in all creation. Will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Do you remember that verse? The Bible is full of amazing verses like that. And when we worship together on Sunday mornings, we get to sing songs and hear Bible verses that teach us so much about God and God's love for us. Let's say a prayer and you can repeat after me if you like. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for people in our lives 
who remind us about your love. Thank you for the Bible, which helps us remember who you are. And thank you for music that lets us sing about your love. And all God's people said, Amen. Our first scripture reading this morning is Psalm 23. Hear now God's word for you this day. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. God is my shepherd, I won't be wanting, I won't be wanting. He makes me rest in fields of green, with quiet Even though I walk through the valley of death and dying, I will not fear, cause you are with me, you are with me. of God forever.
Our second reading this morning comes from Ephesians 2, 11 through 22. Hear once again God's word for us this day. So then, remember that at one time you Gentiles by birth, called the uncircumcision, by those who are called the circumcision, a physical circumcision made in the flesh by human hands, remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh, he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall that is the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near, For through him both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him, The whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. When 
Please join me in reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he arose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Thank you for joining us in worship today. Next week, Pastor Kathy will be back and we'll be continuing with our final two weeks of our Pixar sermon series by focusing on the movie Toy Story. If you are interested in worshiping in person, there is no need to pre-register, but we will still practice social distancing and masking while indoors. As always, if there's any way First Presbyterian can be of assistance to you, please contact the church office at office at beaconpresbychurch.org or call 845-831-5322. And if you would like to support the ongoing ministry of First Presbyterian Church, you can send a donation to 50 Liberty Street, Beacon, New York, 12508, or give an online contribution through our website, beaconpresbychurch.org. Stay connected to the life and people of FPC by joining our First Presby Community Facebook group, as well as sign up to receive our weekly email newsletter. And now, a blessing. May you be at peace wherever you are. Remember those who are out in the world. Have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Support the weak. Help the suffering. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And wherever you are, may the love of God, the faith of Jesus, and the power of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. And let all God's people say, Amen. not left.
me oft as I left thee. On to the close, O oh Lord, abide with me. On to the close, O oh Lord, abide with me. anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord.